Hello everybody, it's Ace Coden here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a platformer on a platformer on scratch. I'm gonna be teaching you how to use gravity and how to go on to different levels. There's also gonna be some lava that the player could die in and they go back to the start and there's gonna be bounce pads. So first we'll code the ground. You want to get a one green flag click, go to back layer so that it doesn't um so that the ground sprite doesn't go in front of the player and then you want to put where it goes. So mine is X minus 41 and Y minus 24. And you want to have um, the two levels for the ground so this and then you can just duplicate it add some red maybe right and purple for the bounce pad You also need a um, exit sprite. <coughs> I'm gonna choose a a green flag. Now for the green flag, I want it to go to here on the level. Oh yeah, and on sprite one, um, make sure it goes to costume one. Change costume to costume one. And for the green flag, put a one green flag click. Um, one green flag click. Go to where you want it to go. So now. This is our level. Now we want to add gravity and move in. To make the sprite move, you'll need a sprite. Um, you'll need a one green flag click forever. Two ifs. I'll explain it at the end of this script. Two ifs. Um, if he's right arrow or you could do um, D I like right and then if he left arrow press and again you can do A you want it to change X by 10 and change X by minus 10 Now it can move left or right. Oh, I forgot to put a minus ten. And we want it to go maybe here at the start. No, I'm gonna do here. So go to the um now left and right. Now you want to make a variable called gravity and this is going to be how high the player jumps on how it can drop if it's in the air. Then you want to get a one green flag click. I'll explain that at the end of the script again. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain this. So um, this just makes it go to here. The forever, anything inside it, it keeps on happening, so it, it will never stop happening, we can keep on doing it. If key right arrow pressed, change X by 10, that, that sends in, if we're pressing the right arrow, 
then we want it to change x by 10. So that means move 10 spaces on the x-axis. And if the key left arrow pressed, since if we're pressing the left arrow, it's changing x by minus 10, which is opposite of 10. Minus 10 spaces on the x-axis. So now, one green flag click, show, so that it doesn't somehow hide. So show, go to front layer, um, so that it doesn't get behind this ground. Now, we want to do a forever, if not, touching colour black or whatever your ground is and put that inside in there. If not touching colour black, change Y by gravity. But that doesn't set the gravity yet because it will just do nothing. But if we put change gravity by minus 1, then it's as if we're saying gravity is minus 1, so it's changing y by minus 1 so that it can come down, only if it's not touching colour black, which is the ground. So, um, wait. Wait, how about I um, change the ground to So no. Oh, we even forgot to do something. Um, inside that if, no, we didn't, never mind. So you have to duplicate this, get rid of this, you don't need it because we already put it there. Um, forever if touching colour green yeah um we don't need a knot because we're coding the jumping and if the key up arrow is pressed and again you could do W key up is pressed or you could do space then you want it to set the gravity to 10 so that's how high it will jump like if i put it at 30 it's gonna jump really high but this doesn't do anything so you need to change y by 10 to enable it to actually get off the ground so it's moving 10 spaces on the y-axis so now, here, I dragged it a bit up, and don't make that mistake, because always remember to stop your project if you're um, designing a level, because if you accidentally delete the green bit, or your brown, it will just fall straight through, and when you add it back, it's gonna... Well, well, when you press the green flag, it's just going to teleport to the bottom every time and it's going to be tricky to um, fix it, it will break your game. 
that's what happened to me there. But luckily, I dragged it back up. Now we wanted to go to the next level. So, go to the green flag. No, no. Actually, go to Sprite 2, which is your player. We get a one green flag click. If, no, forever, if, touching green flag, broadcast next level. So this just means that, and when the green flag is clicked, forever, which means that this will happen every time it won't never happen. Um, so broadcast next level and it just means that it's, it's sensing it's touching the green flag so now if I touch the green flag it has sent a message called next level and it can any sprite can receive it so this sprite is going to receive it um, the ground when I receive next level, change his costume to level 2. Now this works because on the sprite, um, because the sprite is sending, is telling the next, um, is telling the ground to change levels if it if the player touches the green flag, which is the exit, right, and, um, now we have to test it, so, yay, it works, now we want it to go back to here, because it's the start of the next level, so you put that over there see now it, it went over here to start off now we want it so that um, if we touch red we die if we touch purpley pink um it's bouncy let's code the red first um so wait i'm just gonna clean it up now, um, so when green flag clicked, wait, I'm gonna stop it. Um, if touching red, so forever, if touching color red, um, red, then wait, is that red? We want it to go back to the start, which is x minus one seven eight y twenty six. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No. Y twenty six. Yeah. Now this means that forever, which means that this script will never stop. When the green flag clicked means that when the game starts if it's sensing that it's touching the color red then it dies so it goes back to the start and now we can try this um see if i touch red i go back to the star now we want to do the purple you can duplicate this because they're very, they're very similar. If touching color pinky purple, there. We want it to um, set gravity to 15. That's not too big. That's not too small. Um, and remember, this does nothing on its own. So you have to also do change Y by 15.
this because it's you can kind of see like a resemblance in these two codes because for this one it's sensing if we're touching the purple and then this one it's sensing if we're touching the up arrow it wants to set gravity to 10 that's how high we jump but since the purple is a bounce pad we want it to be a bit and more higher because it's bouncier so 15 and then change y by 15 so now if we test this see i'm not doing anything and it's jumping now to show you i'm not doing anything i could increase this by something i could never jump that high in the actual game Yep, see? Now I'll put this back to 15. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can get notified every time I make a video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.